Hi, Roger here for Apogee Electronics. In this video, I'll show you how Apogee's innovative dual path monitoring workflow offers three important benefits. Virtually zero latency, simple one window operation, and the maximum processing potential of your computer's CPU. With other audio interfaces, you're forced to compromise. You can't have all three at the same time. Sound too good to be true? Let's check it out. Dual path monitoring is available on the Apogee interfaces capable of running our FX rack plugins, the Apogee Element Series, Ensemble Thunderbolt, and Symphony Desktop. First, let's see how simple it is to set up dual path monitoring in this Pro Tools vocal overdub session. We've set up Pro Tools and Apogee Control for direct monitoring, and we've set the Pro Tools I.O. buffer to its highest setting to maximize the processing potential of our computer's CPU. Next, we'll open the session, create a new track, assign input and output, then set up an aux send and return for reverb. To hear the vocal with some plug-in processing, we'll open the Apogee FX rack and load the preset Cat's vocal chain. Next, set channel link to match your Pro Tools track input setting, say analog one. Then click the view hardware controls button to display mic preamp controls and direct monitoring level and pan. It's as simple as that. You're now set up for direct monitoring with plugins. All the controls you need are right there in the Pro Tools window. Your system can fully leverage the maximum processing power of your computer's CPU, and latency is under 0.35 milliseconds at 96 kilohertz, even with Apogee plugins. That's right, 0.35 milliseconds. With other interfaces, you're either forced to compromise between lower latency and more plug-in processing with the buffer setting, or you have to switch back and forth between different mixers in completely different applications, adding an unnecessary level of complication. With dual path monitoring, you've got it all. So let's take a look under the hood to see how we accomplish this feat, starting with a look at the dual signal paths that make up direct monitoring. When you're recording, say, a vocal, the only way to get really low latency monitoring that's independent of your DAW buffer size is with direct monitoring. That is, hearing yourself directly through the audio interface as controlled in the interface's direct monitoring mixer app. When you play back your vocal, on the other hand, it's coming through a completely different signal path through your DAW's mixer. If you want to monitor your vocal with plugins, you really need to open them both in the direct monitoring mixer and the DAW mixer to maintain a consistent sound. Imagine if you dialed in a great vocal sound while recording, but playback was unprocessed. Kind of a vibe killer. Now, if I haven't lost you already, you can see how complicated this system would be to run in the heat of a session. Bouncing between two mixers, making plug-in adjustments in two windows, and so on. So how does dual path monitoring simplify this? Two unique features of the Apogee FX rack are a key part of the solution. First, the Apogee FX rack can run in both the direct monitoring mixer and the DAW mixer. Second, the channel link feature allows FX racks in each mixer to be linked, so controls between the two racks are automatically and transparently mirrored. Whatever I adjust in one rack is magically adjusted in the linked rack. For demonstration purposes, I'll open both mixers and show what happens when I open an FX rack in Pro Tools, then link it to an Apogee Control hardware input. A parallel FX rack is automatically opened in the Apogee Control mixer, and my plug-in, mic preamp, fader and pan settings are all automatically and transparently mirrored between the mixers. Once you've seen this, you realize there's really no reason to even open Apogee Control everything's accessible from the one Pro Tools window. Another advantage of this system is that the FX Rack's plugins in your DAW run natively using your computer's CPU processing power. So even if you open the session without the Apogee interface connected, tracks play back perfectly, exactly as you set them. With some other interfaces, their plugins won't run unless the interface is connected. Once you've understood that playback tracks use native CPU processing power, you'll realize you only need enough hardware DSP for tracks you're actively recording through, which is usually only a few. So why pay for more hardware DSP when you don't need it? With virtually zero latency, 
simple one window operation and the maximum processing potential from your computer's CPU. Dual path monitoring is nothing less than the next step in the evolution of computer-based digital audio recording.